Hello everyone, I80386SX. Today, the star of the show is going to be this Compact Armada 4160T. Uh, what we're going to do with it today is applicable to all Armada 4100s, and for matter of fact, the 4200 Armadas as well. We're going to show you how to replace the CMOS battery in these. Now, typically this is something that doesn't require a tutorial, but and 9 out of 10 Armada 4100, 4200 series owners uh, probably already know where theirs are, but there's that 1 out of 10 that hey, they're having a bad day, they're not finding it, or it's, you know, it's uh, they're scratching their head, and this is one little mystery that they want to get out of the way. I know I had that experience with a Compact Evo N600C, where the damn thing was underneath a palm brass, there's just one little latch, there it is. That was embarrassing. It even happens to the best of us. Uh, anywho, uh, before I get into the actual tutorial, if you bought your battery from uh, eBay store 80486SX, a uh, namesake similar to my channel, I thank you for your purchase. And I will get into uh, why the names are similar but not equal, but at some point, uh, but that's not important for this tutorial. And this laptop is a little bit more cut and dry compared to the 5000 series, uh, as the CMOS battery in this machine strictly does time, so it should be a lot simpler than the 5000 series. You don't need to keep a battery or something charged on it on a regular basis to prevent it from discharge. So let's go... Uh, right into it here uh, as always make sure any power from the machine is disconnected as you can tell I have some batteries uh, for the 5000 in Elite that are about ready to ship here I just gotta label them and test them and make sure everything's good. So we set that battery off to the side. That's a unique feature of these 4100 series is that style of battery. I've never seen anything like it before. And uh, now I recommend the Torx T8. We're gonna take this cover off. I don't think we have to take anything else off, but we shall see. Set those screws in a safe in a safe place and if you have fingernails this should lift up eh, maybe I don't or not sure what's going on here I mean, I'm lifting at the wrong end. I'm not sure. I'll try a small flathead screwdriver. We'll see. Uh... Okay. Yep, that did it. So, yeah, a little word to the wise here. There are small tabs on this side. If the trackpad is facing you, that's where it goes. And here's your battery right here. It's a Railvac. BR1632 and you pull that out I'm not actually gonna pull it out on this one because this one is a working battery you pull that out you put the new one in I know this one is a uh, incomplete but you put this one in and the red wire make sure I have it right I might end up pulling this because <laughs> let's pull this one out Yep, red wire goes towards this way. This one is backwards, so you just have to shove that down in there. Oh, wait, never mind. I have one right here. So that's all you do. You put that one in there. If you bought the replacements for me, the replacements are a little bit tight. Just a fair warning. But they do the job, and it's in. And you tuck this in. 
and the rest of the wire it may be a little bit longer than the old one it should be fine it should not interfere with the ram modules if you should you have some you just do it like so and you put the cover back on i'm going to take that battery out right away because like i said i did dissect this one earlier this year and put a replacement cr 1632 in there now little uh, educational tidbit for you and the reason why we went cr 1632 instead of br 32 is the br 32 is near impossible to find it's a, i believe it's a railback exclusive and that battery has been long discontinued from what i can tell I think it's just a little bit higher capacity battery versus the CR counterpart. No, you may be changing this one out slightly more often versus the BR counterpart, but this is a standard lithium cell that's inside as uh, you can tell with our incomplete one here. And uh, well, if you bought the store, it's kind of a, this one I gotta re-solder up that uh, did not turn out the way I wanted to, but as you can tell, I am using a Sony cell, the CR1632, and that pretty standard stuff, so you got to see a sneak peek, or a sneak peek of what I have to offer. Trust me, quality control of the batteries are much better than my speaking abilities. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. It's a very easy repair on this notebook again. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you may ask them on my eBay store, 80486SX. I will leave a link in the description for the battery, and you may feel free to message me there. If you want uh, a whole awesome community of resources, I suggest you join the Facebook group, Compact LTE and Armada Owners. There, There's a whole list of resources there, and I will be the first to say that their LTE knowledge is a little bit more heavier than the Armada, but we got a whole group there. We'll figure it out for you between the team there. And even if you don't have an LTE or an Armada, if you have, say, a Contura, a Concerto, or an SLT even, join us anyway. I'm not an admin, but I'm not going to be mad if uh, you join on there and, uh, hey, my concerto is doing this. My SLT, I need this. Nobody's going to care. Well, in a negative sense anyway. We'll try to help you out the best you can. And for somebody that even owns one of those machines, we're going to be saying, hey, cool, we'll look at your concerto. I'm jealous. Right. And lastly, if you'd like to use me as a resource, you may feel free to put it in the comments section. And I will continue to do this as long as I can help people and have the ability to do so. And it's uh, one small part of the retro community that I do contribute to. And these are the cash cow, the LTE 5000 batteries. But well, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for me. So I'll leave it up. You can feel free to contact me on my eBay page or leave comments below. Now, again, thank you for watching.